Hey everyone, thanks for watching and subscribing to Brass Recordings. Today we're going to learn how to clean your slide. Uh, but before we start that, there are three key uh, elements or components you should always have in your trombone case. And that is your spray bottle for water, so you can spray your slide before you play. An old rag, so you can actually clean your trombone slide if need be um, when you're not at home and obviously your trombone cream or liquid so that when you are cleaning your trombone um, away from your home you've got that equipment available. Uh, but basically before you start cleaning you want to make sure that you've got a safe area to clean your slide because you don't want anyone coming into that room treading on your trombone slide or it bending or, or being dented. Uh, so as we know there are two parts of the trombone. We have the inner slide which is in my right hand and we have the outer slide which is in my left hand. And the first one we're going to clean is the inner slide. So what you do is you hold it in your left hand, you get your rag, and you basically gently squeeze on the slide and rub down to get rid of all the dirt which has built up on your slide. And you might want to do that a couple of times just to make sure you've got rid of all the old um, liquid or cream that you had on your slide previously. And you just do that for the other side as well twisting the inner slide a little bit as it's going through your right hand. So we've cleaned the inner slide. The next component is the outer slide. With the outer slide, you might have received when you bought your trombone a rod, or you might have a little snake which has bristles at both ends. Uh, either of these options are perfectly fine. I prefer the rod just because it's um, obviously metal, it's much more stiffer, so you can make sure you're getting to the end of the trombone and getting all the, um, all the gunk out of your inner slide. What you need for this is a long piece of material. Uh, so I've got a long bed sheet here which I've just cut up, and basically what you do is you wrap it through your rod. You make a bit of a, a large clump at the end, that's what's going to hit your slide first, and then you wrap it up the slide. Always making sure you're actually holding on to the end of the material. In case it gets stuck in your trombone, you're then holding on to the end and you can pull it out. So once again, holding the outer slide in your left hand, the rod comes in and just really gently twisting it around as it goes through your outer slide. So you want to go up and down, just make sure not to slam it too hard at the very end because it actually might dent. The, the end of your slide. So just nice and slow, twisting it around and then doing the exact same to the other side as well. So we've now cleaned the outer slide and we do the exact same to the inner slide as well. So with your um, rod or your snake, same thing. Now the tubing here might be a little bit smaller, so you might want to just make the, the end of um, the material a little less. So take that down. And especially when you're putting uh, the rod through where your mouthpiece actually goes, the top part of the slide actually does have more tubing. So um, just to make sure the material doesn't get stuck, make it a little bit thinner as well. Okay, now that we've cleaned um, both the inner and the outer slide, we've obviously got to put our um, slide liquid or cream on. You never want to put oil on your slide. Um, one, it smells a little bit after a while, and uh, it's not the best type of liquid or cream to put on your slide. So when you first start, you might get a little box called um, slide cream, and you put that on the stockings of the trombone. So just the, um, the very end, nearly a finger width long. Um, and they're called your stockings, and that's where you put your cream. And you'll put a little bit on one end, and a little bit on the other end, and then you, you move your outer slide up and down. What I've got here um, is called slide mix and, and this is what I think is the best type of product you can have for your slide. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive, but it is absolutely fantastic. And it comes in two bottles, a small and a large bottle, and the instructions are on the bottles. But basically the small bottle, you put a couple of drops on the stockings on one slide. And then what I like to do is making sure you've got that same slide of your outer slide, putting it on carefully, and just twisting that around. You then get the larger bottle, which is a bit like um, some sticky glue when it's brand new, and about um, 10 to 20 centimetres down your slide. 
And depending on the type of slide you've got, after a couple of times applying this, you'll know how much you need. Some slides need a lot more of the big bottle, some slides need a lot less. Uh, same goes for the small bottle. So once again, wrapping that around. And with Slido Mix, you'll notice that the actual um, two liquids end up looking like um, beads on your slide, which is fantastic and exactly what you want. And then you just do the exact same thing to the other slide as well. Now, if you've got the slide cream, you can do the exact same thing I'm doing. As I mentioned, you put it on the stockings at the very end, you get one of the slides and you slowly rub it around. With cream, you might want to spray the slide as well, uh, just to make sure it's a little bit um, easier to move. So once again, with Slido Mix, just the stockings, rubbing that around with the smaller bottle and then putting the larger bottle on as well. And then the final part is your actual spray bottle. And it's really crucial to have this spray bottle in your case all the time. With Slider Mix, it's really good because it sticks to the two liquids and it creates some really nice beads on your trombone slide. I don't know if you can see it there on the, on the video, but I've got some nice beads um, which make it very easy to move. And you always want to be able to put your slide on the ground and lift it up and it doesn't stick. If you're lifting your, uh, your slide up and it comes up, then you've got some issues with your slide. Maybe it's out of alignment or just really dirty. Depending on how much you play, you might clean your slide uh, once a week or a couple of times a week. But basically the rule is, whenever it starts to get a little bit sticky, you want to clean your slide straight away. There's no point playing your trombone if it's hard to move your slide. You want it to be nice and easy. Anyway, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you found it um, useful. And uh, we'll be providing a couple more tutorials on how to put your trombone in the bath and how to clean the tuning. See ya.